Hello YouTube, um, making this tutorial to answer the question of one of my subscribers. Her name is Blanche Rivera. I hope I'm pronouncing her name the right way, but um, she mentioned that she wanted to make some rings with, with like a string in between the rings and she was having problems doing it so she asked me if I can help her and I hope this answers her question so to be able to do this you are gonna have to to cut your thread from the ball so in the past all my tutorials, most of my tutorials, I believe the one with the um, two colors, you have to cut the string, the thread. So for this one, you're going to just cut as much as you want. Okay, so I'm just going to cut my, my thread from my ball. And I'm not going to use my ball thread anymore. I'm going to put it aside. And we are not going to thread our needle okay so we're just gonna leave like a, a small like this much so we can like about an inch inch and a half so we can thread our our tail at the end okay so uh for this tutorial we're gonna start with three double stitches so you just start like normal you just put your needle in front of your thread just like that. See, you can see the tail over here, but it's not inside my, the eye of my needle. So let's do three double stitches. Just like that. And, oh, and I apologize about my background. I wasn't planning on making a tutorial, so I did, I just wanted to answer her question at, you know, as soon as possible, because I know she really wanted to know how to do this. So, yeah, that's the first flat thing I found. Anyways, <laughs> let's make a small pico. And three double stitches. Small pico. Big pico. A small pico and three double stitches, small pico and three double stitches. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Okay, so we have. Them, uh, those stitches so now what you're gonna do is you have one tail here you're gonna grab your other tail that you cut from you know that the piece that was attached to your thread okay so we have two tails you're gonna put this inside your needle so thread your needle Let me try one more time. There we go. Okay. And you're going to end up with the loop. Right? See that? So what you're going to do is finish up your, your ring. So let's pull our thread through our stitches. Just like that. Just keep pulling. Okay. Just make sure your stitches are looking the right way. And then I'm going to kind of go actually like this. Sorry. So I'm going to kind of go like and like in there so I can just make a small knot just to secure it you don't it's pretty secure but I just like to do it so just keep pulling okay and 
since this is our first ring, I'm just gonna tie it, our little tail. I'm just gonna make another little knot, one or two. So just like that. And then another little knot. Not pulling it too much because we don't want our ring to get smaller. So just like that. Okay. So now we're going to do another ring. But we want to leave, we want to get this little tail or loop or however you want to call it, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to, Figure out how long, how big your loop is going to be, right? That's the first thing you need to do. So let's just say we're going to do it like, I don't know, I'm really, really bad with measuring, but just just measure whatever you want to do. So we're going to put, we're going to let go our ring, let it hang, and we're going to put our needle in front of our thread. Right, just get comfortable with it. So we just gotta put it in front and pull, uh, put our finger in the back, just like that. It kind of feels weird at first, but you'll get used to it. Okay, so now we're gonna start with our double stitches. So three double stitches. And then we're gonna join. So let's join to our pico on the side. Just like that. And three double stitches. Pico. Now a big pico, and you can do any pattern you want. I'm just doing it for this tutorial. Small pico, and three double stitches. So we did one double stitch when we finish our pico. Remember, we don't count picos as double stitches. We count the one, the double stitch that we that we do right after the pico. So that's one. two, three double stitches, a small pico, and three double stitches. Okay, so that's what we have so far. And we're gonna close our ring and our thread still in our needle. If it's not, just uh, pull your thread in your needle. And then we we still have that loop, see the loop? Okay. Just hold your stitches so they don't move around. Okay. And then before it closes, I like to go in the back and in between and then just pull that thread through just to secure it a little bit. Okay, and then just keep pulling until that ring is closed. There you go. Okay, now what I like to do is I like to just go to measure so. Sorry, let me say it again. So what I like to do to kind of keep the loops one size, because it's kind of hard sometimes, I like to grab it, grab my thread, and just go like kind of like on top of my previous loop and kind of measure it, and then just hold my thread right there. See? So I'm going to just turn my work a little bit so this my work is hanging on my right, right? Because we do our stitches going left. I'm a righty, so <laughs> that's how I look at it. 
Okay, let's do one more ring. Three double stitches. And then make sure we not join into to the first pico to the first ring we did we're actually joining to our previous one right because then it's gonna get all messed up okay so let's just join and at this point you can kind of tell if your if your loop is too big if it's too small that you can just you know kind of redo it okay three double stitches Small pico, big pico, small pico, and three double stitches, small pico, and three double stitches, just like that, okay? Now let's close our ring. Okay. And I'm just gonna go under that little loop. Oops. Hit my camera with my needle. And then just close it. Not so much. Gonna shrink. And then you repeat it again and again. And when you run out of thread, just add some more thread on the side. Well, I hope um, I was able to answer your question, uh, Blanche Rivera. And thank you for ask for for actually you know so, um, leaving a comment and asking you know about uh, a problem you had. I'm always more than welcome. I'm, I'm always, I'm sorry, I'm out of it today, <laughs> but I'm always happy to answer your questions. So if you have any questions or any, or you would like me to do a tutorial about something, let me know and I'll try to get, get it to you as soon as I can. So have a good day and happy tatting.